guys, this is a 2004 Fleetwood Mallard travel trailer. Uh, we recently sold this camper and during our inspection we do a full system check, make sure the camper is roadworthy, make sure all systems are working properly, and make sure the camper is nice, safe, and sound. Um, this camper, when we did our inspection, the slides, it's got a bedroom slide and the living room slide, they're going out crooked. Okay, and I'll show you what we found out outside. Um, both floors are completely rotted. Okay, uh, we called up the customer to tell them, look, you know, we're being honest with them, tell them, hey, both floors need to be rebuilt. We're going to uh, fix that, and you guys have two rebuilt slides. And I'm going to show you what we found. Uh, if you come over here, this window has been leaking, and right there, you see that there's um, a crack in the uh, paneling and if you push on it it's all rotted okay um, so that's where one leak came and then it came down underneath the booth and also obviously you know we don't have no 4d computers it does smell in here and it smells like mold um, down here on the floor let's see if I can pull it up okay um, well, this is actually a sign. Someone has patched this camper. Uh, there's a piece of plywood here. That is not the floor. That has actually been repaired, or as I would call, uh, tampered with. And uh, not correct work done. This booth is loose. And you have screws coming in there. That ain't coming. That's not factory. This has not actually been put back together correctly anyways and I just and your witness did that myself just noticed it um, if you go outside you'll see that the floors are rotted now the back slide obviously you see the bed here and all this we've already removed it um, on top of that floor was another piece about three quarter inch plywood on top of it so you could step on it but the floor underneath was rotted well, let's go outside and I'll show you what we found guys we're back outside this is the opposite corner this is where the sofa is. If you look right here, you see this is actually the floor. It's completely rotten. Um, technically, from the factory, they should add plastic underbelly so the moisture wouldn't get to it. Um, the other thing is done rotted, you see these screws. Once these screws start rusting, that actually indicates that there's water and a leak behind. Um, as you can see on these screws, it's obviously leaking a little bit everywhere else on it. Um, if you look underneath here, it's not 100% bad over here, um, but it is rotten. I mean, the wood's all splitted. I mean, it's completely gone. It's soft. Let me show the other side over here. Alright, this slide over here, uh, this one was already chewed up. And if you're coming closer, you can see under here that. You know, the floor has actually chewed this up. Okay. So this is actually what we would be stepping on on the inside. Obviously, carpet would be over top of it. But we saw another plywood, so it already has a cap over top of it. So when you step down or look inside, it doesn't look rotten. And this is actually the floor of the bedroom slide. When we pulled this one out, before we pulled it out, actually, this top board here, this is the floor. But when we pulled it out, there was actually another piece of plywood on top of here. Um, that was a clear indication it must be leaking. But uh, this one's a lot worse. This floor is actually, the floor came out to about right here, and it just falls apart. It's completely gone. When we tipped this slide out, it just fell. Uh, these screws here, they're all rusted, uh, needed a full rebuild. Um, also, the side walls on uh, the inside of the compartment, uh, right here and on the other side, they're completely all spongy and the water. Uh, a lot of mold, you know, that's very uh, deadly too. Um, but anyways, after we uh, rebuild both of these slides, the customers that are buying this unit, they're going to have one nice camper, two new slides practically. Um, we have everything guaranteed working. Um, that's it. So keep us in uh, touch and we'll 
I'll let you know what's going on next stage. Thank you. All right, guys, we're back with the mallard here. Uh, this is the bedroom slide, obviously, it's missing. You saw us take that out yesterday. Uh, this is all prepped, ready to go. Let me show you the work that we did on the slide. All right, we'll come around here. Yesterday, I was telling you that they don't have the black plastic. Well, as you can see, we have the black plastic wrapped over. So if any water does, by chance, get behind this trim, it's just going to sit on top of that plastic and not going to seep through the wood and rot it. All this wood has been replaced, got a new floor, both side walls and the rear wall where the hatch is, I'll show you that in a second, that's all been repaired. Um, the other defect that we found, and we have repaired it, this trim right here, if you come over here Daniel, we sealed it underneath here, but this trim is actually wider than the standard one from the factory. How this trim went was just right on top of the floor and up top. You can kind of see where this white is right here. Anyways, what happened was when water got on that trim, it went in between the trim and that wood, and obviously it would not have the plastic protective, and it rotted out the floor. Well, now we have a wider trim, sealed properly, and the pla plastic for the underbelly on the plywood. So this is pretty much as leak-free as possible as we can get it. Um, over here, open up the hatch. see that black plastic is all over okay and we don't have two layers of floor as it was before it's all just one solid piece um, all these walls in here have been repaired uh, we trimmed them out nicely obviously got to clean it up a little bit here and there but that's next stage is going to be installing it and I'll come back with you guys and I'll show you installed and what it needs to take to put it back together um, that's it I'll see you in a few Unbolt it from the slide out and bring your legs in. And you can Good. see the legs are going in. Keep going. I'll do it. I don't want that away. It's really long. I didn't want to holler at me. How far are you doing it? Yeah. Okay. That's good, Mike. Here's our picnic projects. We've got the slide out on its face on the picnic table. Take a look at your floor. You can see the good example of what the floors look like. It's all rotting. We're going to build a whole new floor, but you can see this floor is gone in this slide out. There's nothing left. It's all rotted. It's disconnected from the wall. It's all swelled up where the beam is. This, there was nothing left in this floor. So we've got to build a whole new floor. Again, the ceiling. Somebody did some patchwork. Tried to paint this with cool seal. Do not, let me repeat, do not paint a rubber roof with cool seal. All you do is shrink the rubber. When you shrink the rubber, it stretches and rips by the screws. Because this has to breathe. You can't paint with cool seal. And what you can see, you can see the roof is gone on this camper as well. <laughs> Gone. So no roof. Let's look at the other side. But we're gonna have to put a new roof on this camper as well as a new floor. Somebody has hodgepodge this roof. It was leaking. We ripped this off, but look, I mean. They never even fixed this roof correctly. They threw a piece of plywood like this. It didn't even go all the way to the edge of the roof. And that was their so-called fix. So this thing was leaking right when they finished fixing it. This is why you don't let just anybody try to fix the ceiling. They did patchwork here with screws and splitting all of the two by twos. They hodgepodge this corner in here. Wood split. They got screws going two different directions holding it. I mean, this is not the way to fix a leaky slide out. The 
right way of fixing it is tearing it down. Let's go around the other side, Daniel, and show you some of the other disasters on this. They never replaced the roof. All they did was put patches over holes and basically didn't even find all the holes, obviously, because the slide out continued to leak. Because it continued to leak, there's really nothing left. There's the floor. The floor is rotted on both ends. They tried to patch one end. All of the studs, water was coming down the ceiling. They used the wrong paneling inside for the ceiling and they kind of cut around the cabinets. They really didn't do a very neat job. But they let water continue to go down through. Water will follow these studs from the roof all the way down. And when it does, it's going to rot anything that's on the bottom. This water will just simply travel right down the stud. And all, when it lands, of course, is where it does all the damage. There's no, there's no, uh, no life left to this wood because water just sat here so long. So all of this is going to have to be cut out and rebuilt. This is the main beam, which runs the slide in and out. Well, how much longer is this going to hold up? A couple more times and this slide out would have stayed out. Um, we have to, we're redoing the floor right now. It's going to be done out of plywood. We're actually using real plywood instead of press board. And we're going to wrap it underneath and we're doubling the plywood up. So you're going to have a one inch thick floor when we're done. Mike's got all new studs. We're going to paint, pull the paneling off, redo all the studs. Mike, we're going to pull that cabinet off and we're going to replace the ceiling panels with two new ceiling panels. And we'll seam it instead of right there by the cabinet, we'll seam it right in the center. A lot of work. Yep. A lot of fun for Mike. When we're done, it'll be just like the little one we just did. It'll be solid and good for another 10 years. If you keep the caulking sealed, make sure if it starts to leak, fix the leak. Because if you don't fix the leak, this is going to be your end results. And a lot of money, a lot of work to put this thing back together again. Thanks, guys. All right, well, they just finished the floor this morning. You got a nice new plywood floor, and then we got the moisture wrap protection underneath. You notice we'll come all the way around the underneath and bring it all the way to the top and glue it all down. So the water's not going to get to this wood anymore. Mike also wrapped the main beam board. You see it right there when the floor goes up against. So no water is going to get to that as well. You notice we took the uh, back paneling off. We rebuilt the back studs that were in the, in the floor and in the walls. We replaced the studs. Now we're re-insulating it. We're putting a border paneling to get rid of all that mildew, rotten paneling that was behind the walls that got wet. Now it smells like fresh wood, it's clean, there's no mold or mildew behind the paneling anymore. So this is going to be all nice and clean. You can see we pulled the uh, ceiling panel out. The people that passed it before just did an just absolute terrible job. So we're going to be restudying that whole ceiling and putting a new ceiling panel up there when we're done. And it'll be a nice solid slide out again. When we're done, you should be used the unit correctly with a new roof on the slide out, new floor on the slide out. It should be good for another 10 years. See us tomorrow when we try to put it back in. Alright guys, this is me Evan again. We're finally just wrapping this camper up. I'm going to show you everything that we did, all the final stages. Uh, this is the Fleetwood Mallard camper. Um, we got a new awning. 
The one that was on here before was completely gone, and the only thing left was the tensioner arms. Uh, but it's a new awning we just installed for the new customers. Uh, both steps and the rear bumper and the front hitch we painted. We treated it all for rust, sanded it all down, painted it. Make it look a little uh, presentable. We'll go on the other side and uh, show you the uh, awning or the slide outs. They're fully done now. Uh, we're still in the middle of sealing them up. All the trim has been sealed now. Uh, we're in the middle of sealing um, the side trims for the seals. Now, as you can see on here, this is a foam gasket. You'll notice a lot of your newer campers, this is how they're installed, okay? Well, over time, that foam will start to crack, okay? Um, or deteriorate. Uh, nothing on there. Um, but that's how it's installed. Um, a lot of manufacturers are known just for slapping on foam. Hey, it's sealed. Well, not for long. So we're in the middle of uh, sealing both of these. We got the rear slide out done on that. We're working on this one right now. Um, all the side trim has been on. Like I said, um, right over there, there's a foam gasket behind here, but we've sealed it. Okay, this is what it looks like after it's been sealed. Uh, we sealed, put the two corner trims on both sides. Um, we're still, after we're done sealing up, uh, we'll give it a few minutes to dry, and then we're gonna wash the camper. And uh, it's delivering. So. I'm going to show you this one over here. This is what that trim is going to look like when it's all sealed. Okay. Like I said, we're in the middle of doing that one right now. Alright, let's go inside and I'll show you the finished work in there. Alright guys. This is the finished slide out. Uh, as you can see, there is no carpet. Uh, the customers are uh, buying it. They don't want the carpet in there. They're going to do some floor work themselves. So they told us, get rid of the booth, get rid of the sofa. But we fixed the slide for them. It's all brand new. Um, all the side walls have all been replaced. Before, there was um, different color ceiling panels in here. It's been repaired before. Well, now it's the same panel put in the... the white panel there. Um, all the fascia interior trim is uh, installed. Um, back bedroom, that's all complete. I'll show you that. This is what the rear bedroom side looks like all finished. It's all back together, ready for the new owners. And that's it. Thank you for uh, watching our videos and Keep a lookout for the next one. Thank you.